keeping a keen eye here on consumer discretionary stocks. Joining us to share some opportunities that she's seeing is Melissa Armo, founder, owner of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, glad to have you on the show. How come you're picking this group? I mean, it lost a little steam today, but what's the long-term outlook for the sector? Why is this something that you're watching as a potential opportunity? Well, I'm looking at the same things that we discussed the last time, Nicole, the possibility of another shutdown. So again, I'm looking at the stock specifically that would benefit from another COVID shutdown. Before I said 50, 50 percent, I'm going to stick to that, that it's still 50, 50 with a shutdown in the last week and a half. Uh, the president has talked about the possibility of more mandates. People are wearing masks. There's more mandates in New York City. You saw Zoom today rally over $25, a huge, massive rally in that stock today. So I think there are going to be stocks that fall, uh, again, that are hurt by COVID if we have another lockdown and some of these mandates, and you're going to have stocks that rally. The airlines, they came out today, the White House came out today, that they may be talking about having people that come abroad require vaccination. That's going to hurt airlines. They're down tonight slightly. And so is the market down a little bit tonight. And, you know, you have something right now going on in New York City, which is very interesting because we're, we're really the epicenter of this whole thing. The cases are up here, but the deaths are not up. But unfortunately, they've made a mandate now that you have to be vaccinated to go to restaurants, theater and gyms. Guess what? If you work for these companies, too, you have to have the vaccines. More people are going to be unemployment in the next 30 to 60 days. I predict the unemployment numbers to go up. People are not going to get vaccinated if they don't want to get vaccinated. They're going to get fired from their jobs and then they're going to get unemployment. And just when we thought we were out of this, then it happens again and the numbers are going to go up. And that's not where the market wants to be going into the fall. So they can use that as the crutch to get more unemployment. That's a very interesting uh, thought. Tell me about some of the names that you are bullish on, such as Peloton and Zoom. You talked about some of the names that have done well while we stay at home, and those fall in there, right? Well, Zoom had the breakout today, but even if you didn't get Zoom today, I like that, you know, for a nice maybe swing train, possibly up to 500. It's still got a long ride up to go. So just because you didn't get it today, don't think that you missed the Zoom. Peloton has not broken out yet. I'm watching that, watching that. That is due for breakout too, similar to the Zoom. And then I also like some of the names like Home Depot. They've benefited tremendously. People are improving their homes. It's very difficult to get anyone to do work on your home. So guess what? Uh, people are buying things and they're improving their homes themselves and doing their own work because they can't get people to do the work for them. Hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. I know you also, when you talk about Home Depot, right, um, that certainly has been a great one. Fantastic. Again, another stock that's been bullish, another stock that's run up, another stock that's close to the highs or almost making new highs again. The market is strong. I'm not saying the market is, is going to crash. I'm saying that if we have another lockdown, you will see a big sell off in the market and no one can anticipate when that's going to be. So you have to stay in things that are strong, that are going to benefit from COVID. And if you want some shorts, I listed a couple of shorts, too. Before we talked about the cruise lines, I thought they were going to recover. Now it seems like cruise lines, airlines, they're having problem getting fuel for the airlines. They're having problem mm -hmm. getting workers for the airlines. Uh, there was another incident recently. I think it was just the last two days on, an, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a flight. It's we're getting to the point where people were just starting to go out and travel for the summer. And now the possibility of more cases going up. And not only right. that, the mask mandates, people really don't want to wear the mask. So look for shorts in airlines so, look for shorts in the cruises. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why you're bearish on some of these companies. Carnival Cruise, Royal Caribbean, American, Delta. Um, is it the whole travel industry that you're having, you know, f seeing pressure? Possible? I'm saying the, the whole travel and this thing, and your previous guest was talking about the casinos. They have had some big sell-offs. They've tanked. I mean, if you got those shorts in LVS and you got the short and winter ready, I would let it push back a little bit and see where it goes. Wind was out tonight. It's barely moving up. I mean, it's really a pathetic gap up, to be honest with you. It could even drop tomorrow. And we have some big numbers for the market Thursday and Friday. I think the most important thing for traders to understand right now, all of your people at Ameritrade, is that if you are up in positions, please take profits. This market is volatile. We can't keep going up forever. And with all the looming economic data and the backdrop of what I'm talking about, 
in reference to the possibility of more unemployment claims coming out, the market could finally have the reaction that some people were expecting earlier in the year. Because remember, we had some bad numbers and then the market would rally. We've continued to make new highs. We're continuing to pass uh, you know, legislation like this, the stimulus, where we're spending all this money. We, we're in a period of inflation. It's not gonna just be everything's fine forever. I don't think the inflation is temporary. I think it is gonna continue into 2022 and eventually it's gonna hit the market. And people are up, the market's been rallying, and they're going to take profits. And when people take profits and you have selling, then the market drops. Mm-hmm. Well, it all makes sense. It does. And obviously, we expect some volatility along with it. Melissa Armo, thank you. Founder, owner, the stock swoosh. Thank you, Melissa. Thanks for having me.